OK then, for this Friday's lesson we're going to have a demonstration in mounting. Here's a large double mount on a pastel of mine. You can see here that it's in fact not just a double but almost a triple mount because we've not only cut a mount for the upper surface, we've cut one to go underneath as well and we've cut a border out in between. So it's quite a complicated mount. What we're going to do today is a simple double mount though. Now this is a nice little example of a double mount, a little watercolour mount from earlier on, with a dark inner and a light outer. That's nearly always what we do. What I'm going to do now is actually show you some examples of two pieces of work we've done here in the class and a whole series of different mounts uh, done on the computer to show the difference between how a mount will affect another colour, another painting. And there's just so many varieties we can have. But to say normally we're going to use a dark within a lighter, in these examples I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to do one or two with a light inner as well, just for fun. And finally, before I, I show you these examples, there's one last one, a pastel of mine done in the Caribbean. This one is acrylic ink underpainting with pastel over the top, which is great to get that vibrant colour. So what we'll do now then, we're going to take a look at just two of the works we've done, a landscape and a snow scene, to, to see the variety of different ways of putting mounts on that we can do like this. I gave that one to Colin, that one, yeah, um, and he wants a mount for it, so that's what we'll do today as well as the one for the snow. The difference even in a tint of colour here, it's tremendous isn't it, it, it brings out the colours in the painting. So when you're doing a frame it's the same, you can use the tinting of the frame to bring out the colours that you like most in the painting, or even to suit the decor around it. I'm doing these two pictures, in this case we're going to start with this one, and as it's the same size as the other one, um, I know the mount's going to be the same. We're concerned with two things, the inside cut of the mount, in other words the window of the mount, and the outer frame. And what size mount to have. It can be very nice to have a very large mount and a smaller picture inside, it can be quite a feature of something. If you've got a little woodcut or something, to have a small woodcut and a great big mount is quite fun. Um, I use a four inch mount on something this size, and a five to six on a huge one, and a three inch on one half this size. So four inches. So the first thing we're going to do then is to measure across what we actually want to frame of the picture. Not the bit of paper, we actually want to frame. This is another reason why you want to leave at least this when you do your painting. 
and also why your signature should be up inside in case you could go over it slightly with the mount or the frame. Mm -hmm. So we've got to measure the actual width we want to do. Now I said um, 2013 here, so that's 13 to there. You can see I've just gone over the picture just slightly, and then 20 that way would just lose about a quarter of an inch each side of that. So that's my measurement there, so 2013. Then we've got the plus four inches each side, so plus eight inches. Right. Stop me at any time you get confused. This card is £10 a sheet, trade. Okay. Um, if you make a botch of it, it's a lot, you know, you've got to cut bits down in between. I, I was lucky, I mean, I got a whole load there reduced from somebody who was selling up, so we're not too badly off. So we can use this for painting and all sorts afterwards, it's quite fun with acrylics as well. So don't worry about that side of it, the, the amount you're making today are free, so it's just, just for fun again. So you others lose out today, <laughs> can't make it. Right, so we add that on and that gives me 2013, 28, 21, is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Your math is better than mine, it took me ages with that one out, out <laughs> but it's so easy to make a mistake on this, especially if you're doing something like the double mounting with that extra edge as well, because you've got to start minusing it. The first thing we need to do then, we're going to have a dark inner and a light outer, mm -hmm. is two pieces of card the same size, 28 by 21. So we've got to set this machine up to cut our card 28 by 21. The blades are in here, we've got two cutters, this one and this one. One is at an angle, that one, that's for cutting the bevel. And one is dead straight, that's for cutting the outer sides of the mount. Okay. Right, so I'll put these to one side now. I've got a little Stanley knife here with the new blades. Well, all the blades must be really sharp. You've got to change the blade fairly often. We also need to put a, a piece of scrap card underneath so that the um, card doesn't tear. It does give a nice, neat, straight cut. But we'll go to that in a moment. So I can put this to one side now. When we cut the card, the outsides of the card, it doesn't matter which way up the card's going. When we cut the bevel card, the card is upside down. Okay? Yeah. When you cut the bevel, it's upside down. But I'm going to be here watching you, and it's and the mistakes I've made sometimes, oh, you know, you, you, you could kick yourself, but there's no good rushing. It's like your woodworking saying, measure and then measure again, and sometimes even again, make sure. So we want to set this the right width first of all to, to do our cuts. And we've got, as you see, right the way along here, measurements. So I've got to get out of a sheet as many as I can. So it's no good taking a piece out in the middle or something. We want to get two sheets vertically out of a big sheet like this. So if I take, and they're both going to be the same size at the moment, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> so if I take a sheet of card like this, then I'm going to get my two pieces out there and there, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Not there and there, because they won't fit. Mm -hmm. So my longest, my shortest measurement is going to go that way. And the measurement was... Um, 21. 21, that's right. So what I've got to do first is set uh, my measurement for, for, for the 21. That would be that way. Over here. And I'll set this this one here at so double check 21. Yeah. I know you're probably right, but I've got to make sure. And it says a little, a little word here, it says edge here, look. It's all on the little red mark there, looks saying edge here. So that's what you're measuring to, not this side. All right, okay. It all helps. Well, there's my 21 there, okay? Right, yeah. So that's that. Now I want four of those, because I need this out every time. So that's got to come underneath here. That's this lifts up. Right up. Like this, like that. To drag this underneath here. What do you want to watch out for? Thank you. Is the best way you can work together on this is uh, muck. Because you don't want to get muck onto this, you see, do you? Mm -hmm. So that goes right through, and if you just put it into that corner for me, it gets that stock, that's it, so it's absolutely level along there, yeah. that's it, right up, so it's level, that's perfect, yeah? yeah? Now, we've got to now use this straight one here to be cut, I just should be able to run it, a bit of oil on this sometime, all the way along there, like that, that wants to be pushed in as well. Quick as that. We can slide that one out. We bring this one down. So before we cut another one, we'll just double check that. So that should have been 21 across, shouldn't it? We'll just double check and make sure I've got the cut right. Put it here a minute, so it's on the camera. And that should be 21. Perfect. Yeah? So now, Sue, so, bring this blade back up again. That's 
sits, sits, sits this, this one, that's the one there, that's that one there. That goes on to here. If you, if you, then you can come here and reach right over, you can come here, but if you push that down and pull it all the way along, okay? Just push that down. Yeah. And just move it along. Yes, pull, pull it hard. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Just, it, it will move, but pull this as you do it. So you, you're pushing, you're pulling it like that, you see. Right, yeah? okay. To get the hang of it in a minute. That's it, you've got it. Yeah, there you go. You might as well do it twice. Sit down and that's it, there you go. There you go, that's perfect. That's great. See, that's cutting perfectly now. You, you're, you're way away there. You may even find you don't need to go as deeply in the future. Yeah, there you go. The knot comes off its palm. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So you've got the idea of that. We need to do two more. Um, but with this time with... Um, now, that's a new blade, so we're getting quite a sharp edge. But there's a very slight fur to that edge. So what I'm going to do now is use the piece of card that we've just cut off to go underneath here. And next time it's going to cut into that, isn't it? Right through the other card. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Now we want a nice dark sheet. Matter whether it's this way up or not from this one. Because that, if you can lift that bar up, Sue. No, yeah, that's that one there, that's it. Now pull this through. Yeah. Right, that piece that's has it. come out. Is that alright? That's it, let's put it back in. You've got the idea, does not it? That goes into there. Right across to, to there, that's it. Put it down. Not quite into that corner, is it? That's it, like that. Yep. Yeah. And it's exactly the same thing, so you've got to go this time, yeah? Yeah, lift them all up. So let's lift that up, slide it back this way to there. And this one? It's the, uh, this, this, this one, the, this, the vertical one, that's it, that one. That one. Yep, that's the one. That's the way. Hard now. Where you go. That's perfect, you've got the idea. Yeah. Well Once you get the knack of it, yeah. you know, I'm sure you will. Um, right, so that's another 20. And that piece has to come underneath again. So there you go. And you see the edge of that now looks absolutely sharp because we've got the bit of card under it. So make sure the bit of card goes under it. Yeah. You get the idea, you shouldn't get the hang of it, that's perfect. It's not so hard, is it, once you get the hang of it, you know. This is the beauty of these machines. Right, now we've got to move on to the inner parts. Okay. And we're going to set all of, we're going to set three things up for how many inches? 21 to 28. No, the actual width of the border. Ah, uh, three inches, four inches. Four pretty big ones, four, okay. Right. That's what I use, and you'll see. Okay. So first of all we have to set up the outer one, that's this one. So that has to go to, you can see on this muck, four inches, which is there. Make sure that it's level, because this can go out as a quarter fraction look. So watch that line there with your eyesight, just make sure that it's kind of can I move back a little bit then look, it's got a bit bent, so that's about right there. Okay, that's four inches. We're doing the dark inner underneath first. We're doing the actual picture size we want at four inches first. We're doing the underneath mat. Right. Then the top one's going to be a fraction broader, so it goes in one, two steps. Right, okay. You really understand? Yeah. Good. Because it can be confusing. Right, this one now has to be set at four inches. And it says, look, read here. Right, yeah. In, in English as well. That's not bad. <laughs> and then again, here. This little fella here, it's just a bit tight, four inches, just on there, look. In there. See that? Okay. Okay. That's now ready to go. And that will cut our dark mounts all the way around. Now, what did I say about the mounts? Which way did they go? Upside down. That's right. Now, this time, yeah. with that, and we're coming all the way to there. We're not forgetting this now. Yeah? Okay. And that should automatically stop. So I'm going to do this one for you just to show okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> now, this little novel at the end, this I'm going to reach yeah. right over from here, this little plastic bit comes to there. Right. The bevelled one now gets pushed in, cut, and you pull it all the way down until you get to here. Don't pull too hard and hit that too hard, but it stops when it stops. Yeah? Easy as that. That's it. Turn this around. A little bit of car back under there. We can do with a bigger bit, really. We'll do that later. That one. And then, you can just work around the clockwise if you want. Um, push it right underneath. That's it. Good. That one. Look how simple that is. And there we are. Look. Voila. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the bevel that way, you see. I always wondered how they did that. Oh, you're right. So, your turn now. <laughs> you're the dark one. 
So that way up, make sure that's there. There we go. So come around to that end now, that's it. So we move this up until that is on there, like that. Yes. So just hold that down when you start. And you stay there. Can you, can you reach? Just yeah, you just want your right hand on that. That's right, just for the moment. Now push down on that one until it goes, if you can feel it cut through, push right down. There you go. Now you take your finger off that okay. and use both hands on this and pull it back. Easy as that. There you go, Sue. Brilliant. And it stops. Keep going until it stops. Did it stop? Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, lift up. There we go, Sue. Brilliant. Well done. Well, done. That well, done. <laughs> well, you've done the outside, you've done the inside. I have to get rid of that, or would you use it for this? Or just um, gently? It, it will, we'll just use a craft knife and it'll probably just come off, actually. Oh, yeah, it's just. Oh, right, okay. yeah. Now, we've got the light ones to do. Now, we're going to go slightly smaller in size. So, are we going to have four and a quarter or three and three quarters? <laughs> right. it's, get, three. Three. So it's long and bigger, isn't it? It's a smaller one. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Oh, right, you see the other side. It's the top one. Top one. Yeah. You're going to set these now to three and three quarters. <laughs> three and three quarters. Yep. So that I'll one. do that one to three and three quarters, just over. That one, the whole thing, remember, that one there as well. That's it. That's it. Okay, so. So, how many pictures have you actually got that we've done that size? Is it one or two? How many have you done? I've do? got three of the smaller size. Smaller size, yeah. right. So we can one measure those. One, two, Did you do one big as well? You haven't, you haven't done any big ones, have no. you? Right, so we can cut some. We might have to use some of these offcuts for that. We'll see in a minute. But right, go ahead. See if, see if that's done. Yeah, that's done. Yeah. Great. Okay. Now, if we've got this right, if we have, bring that over here a minute. Okay. Just lay on top of that. And we should have a quarter inch in a border. There we go. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is stick that on. Now the easiest and best way is to use double sided tape. We can get special tape for it. I've got some here, but it's not that brilliant. But otherwise, just ordinary PVA glue. Well, set up. Do you want to do those straight off then? Um, Delighted. And then we'll do two smaller ones. So I'll, I'll, I'll sort of glue these up a moment so that you can see how to do it. We're double sided, and then we'll do some glue. So you need to set this up again for yourself. Right, the board, choose your colours of board. You want one dark, one light. Yeah. You'll, you'll get two out of those four. I've got the, the country one. Make sure that it's that's it. That's 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 level that end. That's important. Yeah. Right, you're away there. Yeah. Okay. Straight one this time. So which one is it? One. That one. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it away. Did you say we were going to do mountains? Did you say something about doing mounting? I thought you said. <laughs> Drawing mountains. Or mountains, no, it's not mountains. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's a funny age, you know. We can do mountains sometimes if you want. Yes, but uh... I'll tell you why. It's because I've been doing a mountain picture at home in pastels, right, messing about with it. Right set, up, set up the measurement again. Right, while they're doing that, because I know that they're doing your sign now, I'm going to put on some double-sided tape here. Hope it will come off all right. I can peel it back and get my light amount on top. So if I get this stuff to peel, it's quite old now. Right, I'll peel away all of these. And now I should be able to place my light amount on top. We've got to get this spot on because when it sticks down, we're in trouble. And there we are, one mount. 
just peel off that double sided tape again. So and place on our light mount again. should fit underneath. Just have a, a test of it to see how it looks. And look at that. Really nice, yes? So we'll turn that over in a minute. Um, we'll get it spot on. What I like to do now is just put one bit of tape on here. Just one piece. So I've turned my mount that way up for the minute. I've got my, got my picture here and I've turned it upside down. Okay. And I've put one piece of tape halfway across. The reason for that, I'm going to show you now, it makes life so much easier. Now, I've got it ready to put the mount on. Make sure your hands clean. Bring this over, get it into just the right place. Drop it on, and then push it onto that piece of tape you've just done. And hopefully it'll stick. So, now you know it's in the right place. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you haven't mark everything. Now just make sure then that you tape it on properly, and then we'll use some... It's going to be hopefully held within a frame anyway. Mm -hmm. So there we are. Voila. Mm -hmm. Look a lot nicer, don't they? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put some. Right, what I do next is put some cellophane on it, so we lay the cellophane down first. Make sure there's enough. Got to decide which way around the cellophane is going to go when your picture's big enough to go next ways or which ways. It would just make it which ways, so I think I might do that. I want to save the cellophane, so I'll go like that. You bring this across the halfway. Just over halfway, bring the telephone back in. Okay. And then we snip it off there and tape it up. So, there's your first okay. attempt at mounting. Soon. Now we've got to do is put them together. Yes, frame Sue. Um, so, pleased with that, yes? Very pleased. Not as hard as you thought, and it looks really smart, doesn't it? Yeah, so, it's wonderful. And now we're going to do Sue's smaller ones. Well there we are, there's the finished painting and it's in a white mount but it looks quite effective. That's it. Yep. So I'm putting the double sided tape on another couple of mounts. Now this is the tricky bit, you've got to get that mount spot on before you press down at all so be very careful. There is another trick to this, before you put the tape on you can lay it first and make four little pencil corner marks if you know what I mean, so you know exactly where it's going but I'll do it by eye so just be careful now. Got to get it equal all the way around. Right, before you right. put it, once you've got that, now all I do is you can use scissors, but I tend to just use a craft knife, and you know that's your other piece there, you can just start here, work your way along, just don't go through the bottom bit, that's all. And yeah. then, well, there you are. Okay. Now, just a bit of sellotape, and you can just tape it up. Now, you might want to leave one end open even, because you want to get your painting onto it yet, so, um, so you know, if you just make it equal both ends, tape, tape the middle first, Get it tight like that. Put one piece here, look. Tasty? It's not worth it. Got no teeth in. That's it. 
then I've put two more, one here, one there. There we, there are, we are. your first mount, already double mount, nice and cellophane, ready to put your painting in. <laughs> there we are ladies, your first go at mounting. Now it's a pity I haven't got the paintings with you for us to see them in them, but you learnt a lot today didn't you in a short session? Yes. And you can come back and use it when you want now can't you? Alright.